Good morning, and welcome to the Inland Empire Utilities Agency's RP5 Expansion Project Virtual Groundbreaking. I'm Shivaji Deshmukh, General Manager for the Inland Empire Utilities Agency, and I'm excited to be on site today at Regional Water Recycling Plant Number 5 in Chino to recognize this significant event. I would like to start by thanking everyone for attending virtually since we are unable to do this in person. Throughout this video, you'll have the opportunity to learn more about the RP5 Expansion Project, its benefits to the region, project partnerships, funding initiatives, and more. Featured as well, will be our very own Manager of Engineering, Jerry Burke. Typically, this event would provide a tour of the existing facility, so Jerry will be joining us to give you an on-site, inside access look into some of the facility and process improvements being implemented by this expansion. In order to adhere to physical distancing and safety guidelines, we are appreciative for and have the opportunity to share some pre-recorded remarks from distinguished guests, including state and federal elected officials. So again, thank you for joining us as we highlight this innovative project. Regional Water Recycling Plant Number 5, or as we call it, RP5, has been in operation since 2004 and currently treats liquids only, with a capacity of 16.3 million gallons per day. Water treated from the RP5 is either delivered as high-quality recycled water to industrial and irrigation users, pumped to basins for groundwater recharge, or discharged to the Chino Creek. Out of IEWA's five plants, RP5 is located at the lowest elevation and is an end-of-the-line wastewater treatment plant, making it the receiver for any flows that the other plants cannot handle. The RP5 expansion project will expand RP5's liquid treatment capacity to 22.5 million gallons per day. The project will include infrastructure for RP5's ultimate build out to treat an average flow of 30 million gallons per day and a peak flow of 60 million gallons per day. Speaking of flow, do you happen to know the highest flow day for our treatment facilities? You may think of upcoming holidays such as Thanksgiving, but historically our highest flow day has been on Super Bowl Sunday. The RP5 expansion project will address increased flow, projected regional growth, and an anticipated increase in capacity needs by expanding the RP5 liquids treatment system and relocating the agency's solids treatment process from the existing RP2 solids treatment facility. RP2 is located within a flood zone and is set to be decommissioned. Therefore, this project includes constructing a new solids treatment plant here at RP5. This essential project is innovative and necessary in ad addressing regional growth and water supply reliability. The RP5 expansion project was made possible by the establishment and continuation of effective partnerships and the hard work of agency staff. I would like to take this opportunity to thank and recognize the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the State Water Resources Control Board for providing significant funding for this project. I would also like to recognize and thank the following for their partnership in this project, including Parsons, Arcadis, WM Lyles, Helix, and Rovisis. This project would not be possible without the hard work of agency staff, including Jerry Burke, our Manager of Engineering, Jason Marseille, our Deputy Manager of Engineering, and Brian Wilson, our Project Engineer, along with many other talented individuals. We have an exceptional team here at IUA, and so many have worked hard over the past five years to plan and facilitate this significant project. To expand on this success and to highlight our project funding partners, I would like to introduce IUA's board president, Katie Parker. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us virtually for this momentous groundbreaking event. I'm Katie Parker, board president of Inland Empire Utilities Agency, and I am very excited to be here today to recognize and show appreciation for the partnerships that have been established and the efforts by so many people that have brought realization to this critical project for our region. The RP5 expansion project will increase the treatment capacity of the existing facility to support the continued growth in western San Bernardino County. The project will meet all regulatory requirements, utilize energy efficient equipment, and continue to provide high quality recycled water to our service area. Since 2000, IEUA has been able to leverage state and federal partnerships to help fund critical infrastructure projects 
through grants and low interest loans to help us keep our wastewater rates as low as possible. Recently, the agency received a $196 million Water Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act loan, otherwise known as the WIFI loan, from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency for the RP5 expansion project. This federal credit program was established to improve our nation's water infrastructure, and this project complements that improvement, as well as supports public health and the environment in a growing community. The WIFI loan, which the agency was able to secure at an interest rate of only 1.36%, will continue our successful federal partnership with the EPA and provide 44% in low interest financing for the RP5 expansion project. In turn, saving the agency an estimated $153 million compared to typical bond financing. The agency is also on the State Water Resources Control Board's Clean Water State Revolving Fund Loan Program fundable list for a $102 million loan. This program focuses on finances for the protection and improvement of water quality. Our very own Manager of Engineering, Jerry Burke, will be featured later on providing more details as to how this expansion project will improve water quality and provide drought resiliency to our region. And lastly, in continuing with the endeavor to secure funding partnerships, IEUA applied for the California Alternative Energy and Advanced Transportation Financing Authorities Sales and Use Tax Exclusion Program. This program supports California's mission to provide financial incentives to cutting edge companies by offering a sales and use tax exclusion to manufacturers that promote alternative energy and advanced transportation. IEUA will save approximately $6 million through this program for equipment purchases for the RP5 expansion project. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our funding partners as well as acknowledge the parallel goal of investing in water infrastructure to secure high quality, reliable water supply for our region. IEUA remains committed to meeting regional demands in an environmentally responsible and cost-effective manner. The RP5 expansion project helps meet this goal and prepares the community for drought resiliency and water use efficiency efforts while preserving our most precious resource, water. Thank you. Up next is a video highlighting the RP5 expansion project improvements from a bird's eye view.
I'm pleased to introduce John Busterud, Regional Administrator for Region 9 from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Thank you for the opportunity to join this groundbreaking ceremony. I'm John Busterud, Regional Administrator of EPA's Region 9 in the Pacific Southwest. EPA is delighted to partner with the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on this important water recycling expansion project. Water recycling embodies two of EPA's highest priorities. That's reusing the water that we have and revamping our nation's water infrastructure. With 40 states, including California, expecting to experience freshwater shortfalls in the coming decade, these projects are essential if we're to meet demand and sustain continued economic growth. That is why earlier this year, EPA helped to establish the National Water Reuse Action Plan under the leadership of our administrator, Andrew Wheeler. The RAP, as we call it, is a collective effort that uh, represents all sectors of the water reuse community and builds on more than four decades of experience and practice. Diversifying our nation's water supply often goes hand in hand with water infrastructure improvement. In the last four years alone, through state revolving funds and WIFIA, EPA has helped finance more than $40 billion in water infrastructure projects around the nation. Since the first WIFIA loan was closed in April 2018, EPA's WIFIA program alone has helped finance $14.5 billion for water infrastructure projects while creating 31,000 jobs and saving ratepayers $3.3 billion. EPA's WIFI loan to Inland Empire Utilities Agency will save ratepayers an estimated $153 million while creating 1,280 jobs through construction and project implementation. Congratulations on today's historic milestone. I'm happy to introduce our keynote speaker, Congresswoman Norma Torres. Hello, this is Congresswoman Norma Torres, and I am excited to join you today for the Inland Empire Utility Agency's groundbreaking of the Regional Water Recycling Plant Expansion Project. We in the Inland Empire are all too familiar with the ongoing drought conditions in our own backyard and across our state of California. Just last year, we faced strict limits on water usage while California endured some of the driest conditions on record. Thankfully, we're in a better position today, but we can't lose sight of the critical importance of local water supplies that are reliable, safe, and clean. And it's our local governments and water agencies who are on the front lines of this fight. They know better than anyone how vital access to clean water is to our daily lives and how urgently we need to address issues of water quality and reliability. Fortunately, our region has long been a pioneer in innovative technologies and policies that make the most of our water supply. Stakeholders across our region are finding new ways to maximize the resources that we have. And we are here today to launch the very kind of project that illustrates this regional desire for innovation to promote water conservation. This project will provide over 7 million additional gallons of water per day to our local water supply. This increase in local supply means our community will be less beholden to outside sources in the future. And most importantly, we will be more water secure in years to come. This facility will also serve as a model of energy efficiency and technological capability for other regions looking to replicate our success. I was proud to collaborate with IEUA, EPA, and my congressional colleagues to secure $196 million loan to finance this project. We must always prioritize investments in water infrastructure and development of new technologies to ensure water security right here in the Inland Empire. And as your member of Congress, I will continue fighting for more projects like these in the years to come. Now joining us is Congresswoman Judy Chu. 
Hello, I'm Congressmember Judy Chu, and I'm so pleased to be joining the Inland Empire Utilities Agency for today's virtual groundbreaking. The RP5 expansion project is an exciting development, which will provide our growing communities with more sustainable water for years and years to come. Western San Bernardino County is experiencing a growing population and the threat of more frequent and longer lasting droughts. That is why creating a stable, sustainable, and durable water supply for our future is among the most important infrastructure issues facing the Inland Empire. And this expansion project will make such a meaningful difference by increasing water treatment capabilities by 50%. That is incredible and will provide nearly 900,000 people with another 7.5 million gallons per day of recycled water and it will do so while meeting clean water regulations and reducing water pollution. I'm especially glad to see that federal programs, including loans through the Water Infrastructure Finance and Innovation Act, made this project possible. This shows us so clearly that when Congress works together with states and local water agencies, we can make incredible progress toward building a water secure future in the West even in especially arid areas like ours. But Congress can still do more, which is why I am working hard to increase funding for Title 16 water reclamation and water smart grants. And I'm also proud to have introduced legislation that would further protect the San Gabriel Mountains, which are a major source of clean water for Southern California that recharge our groundwater basins. Together with innovative recycling projects like the RP5 expansion, these efforts will reduce our reliance on imported water. The RP5 expansion project will be an example for water agencies across the Western United States, showing that we can leverage low interest federal financing to build safer, cleaner, more reliable sources of water to sustain our communities into the future. So thank you again for your amazing work on this project and for making such a difference for my constituents in your service area. We are pleased to have our next speaker, Congressman Pete Aguilar. Hi, this is Congressman Pete Aguilar. I wanna congratulate the Inland Empire Utilities Agency for receiving this federal loan. Uh, you all folks have been uh, partners and leaders when it comes to water treatment and supporting our groundwater replenishment strategies. We're gonna to have to continue to be creative as California experiences continued uh, climate change and droughts. Uh, so thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Thanks for being committed partners with us. Uh, I'm so proud that these funds are going back here to the Inland Empire. Uh, and I know that you folks are gonna be amazing stewards of those funds. Thanks so much. Our next speaker is Congressman Gil Cisneros. Hello everyone, I'm Congressman Gil Cisneros, and I represent California's 39th district, which includes the city of Chino Hills. I want to congratulate the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on this partnership with the EPA and the 196 million Water Infrastructure and Innovation Act loan. Today's groundbreaking is a huge win for our community. It's a type of federal investment that will help upgrade and improve our nation's infrastructure. This grant will expand our liquid treatment capacity and benefit the 39th District, Inland Empire, and all of the surrounding neighborhoods. At the same time, this project will utilize energy efficient equipment, increase our local water supply, and create nearly 1,300 jobs. We need to make sure our water infrastructure is up to date, safe, and clean, especially with our region and state's challenges with droughts. This investment means we are preparing for our future, and now more than ever, that's so important for us to do. This year, the House passed landmark legislation to rebuild our nation's infrastructure, which would create millions of good paying jobs, combat the climate crisis, and address disparities across the country. I'll continue to work with my Republican and Democratic colleagues to ensure we address the infrastructure needs of our community, because an investment in our infrastructure is an investment in our future. Congratulations again on this monumental groundbreaking. Please continue to stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Now visiting us on site from RP5, IEUA's engineer at the plant, Jerry Burke. Hi, this is Jerry Burke, engineer at the plant, coming to you live and uncensored from the RP5 
expansion project in Chino, California. Behind me is the headworks. This is where the influent wastewater comes into the plant and is pumped through our bar screens for treatment. I'm gonna take you today through three parts of the process that we're gonna improve as part of this expansion project. The first is the bar screens. Come on, let's go have a look. Behind me are the existing bar rates. This is where we screen out the large material that comes into the plant. Think of it like liquid sandpaper. If we don't take it out, it mixes in the water and it is sandpaper on the downstream process and it wears out the equipment. What we're going to do is install a fine screen to pull out particles as small as two millimeters. But look at what's coming out of that wastewater. Smell that rich air. Ain't it good to be alive and be in Chino, California? We are pleased to have our next speaker joining us, Doreen Diadamo, Vice Chair of the State Water Resources Control Board. Good day and thank you for this opportunity to be part of the groundbreaking celebration. The State Water Resources Control Board is pleased to support IEUA's Regional Water Recycling Plant upgrade with a $105 million loan through our Clean Water State Revolving Fund program. This project highlights the forward thinking that our board supports and we're pleased to have partnered with IEUA on moving a facility out of a floodplain before there was a problem, anticipating and preparing for growth, beneficially reusing biosolids to create clean energy, recycling increased amounts of water to reduce dependence on the Delta and create regional water security for Western San Bernardino County. Our board is encouraged to see agencies such as IEUA anticipate their region's needs and incorporate safety, reliability, and independence into their projects. Our funding is a good example of how we can help meet several of the state's goals by recycling more water and creating more renewable energy. We look forward to a continued partnership with IEUA and wish to congratulate IEUA and the many partners and stakeholders that have worked on this forward thinking project. Thank you. Now back to our engineer at the plant, Jerry Burke. One more thing I want to show you. These two clarifiers, the one behind me and the one we're standing on, we're going to recondition them as well as build two more out here in this vacant field in order to increase the capacity. I'm pleased to introduce Senator Connie Leva. Hi, I'm State Senator Connie Leva. I'm so happy to join all of you today in celebrating the groundbreaking of the Regional Plant 5 Expansion Project. Located in Chino in the 20th State Senate District, RP5, as it is affectionately known, will help to increase the ability of the agency to serve the needs of our communities here in the region. As the Inland Empire continues to welcome more and more residents to our region, the capacity needs for local residents grow which is why I'm so pleased that this project will help to address the expected regional growth and needs of our communities. Though people don't always think about the need to treat wastewater, it is a critical part of protecting our public health and our environment. So again, I congratulate the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on this expansion project and offer them this congratulatory certificate, which I will be happy to get in the mail soon. Thank you so much for inviting me today to join you virtually. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Now joining us is Senator Anthony Portentino. How about that Inland Empire Utility Agency serving almost 900,000 customers? I'm State Senator Anthony Portentino, and it's my pleasure to present a Senate proclamation to the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on breaking ground on their number five expansion project. So on behalf of the California State Senate, I'm proud to join the Inland Empire Utilities Agency in celebrating this joyous occasion. Congratulations on this monumentous accomplishment. Keep recycling that water, making our, our world more environmentally sound. Congratulations on behalf of the California State Senate. I'm proud to present this certificate to you today. God bless and thank you. I'm happy to introduce Assemblymember Freddie Rodriguez. Hello, I'm Assemblymember Freddie Rodriguez. I represent the 52nd Assembly District, which includes the cities of Chino, Montclair, Pomona, Ontario, and unincorporated Fontana. 
IEUA's newest project, the RP5 expansion, will help continue the great service for our growing region for many years to come. With the help of the EPA and the State Water Resources Control Board, IEUA will be better equipped to continue providing a clean and sustainable water supply to our region. Congratulations to the Board of Directors and staff at the Inland Empire Utilities Agency. We are pleased to have our next speaker, Assemblymember Eloise Gomez Reyes. Hello, I'm Assemblymember Eloise Gomez Reyes, representing the 47th Assembly District. I want to congratulate and recognize the Inland Empire Utilities Agency for their Regional Water Recycling Plant Number no. 5 expansion project. This groundbreaking signifies your commitment to reliable and sustainable water supply. On behalf of the California State Assembly, thank you for continuing the investments into projects that protect our most precious resource. I would like to officially present the Certificate of Recognition to the Inland Empire Utilities Agency, dated this October 29th of 2020. Let's check back in with our engineer at the plant, Jerry Burke. All right, here we are at the second major improvement at the plant, the secondary clarifiers. What are we doing here? We're gonna be installing MBR. What is the MBR? Membrane bioreactor. Okay, what does that mean? Think of it like six foot long straws that have millions of tiny holes in them. What's gonna happen is we're gonna pull the clear water through the straw and leave behind the solids and the organics. As a result, we'll have a much higher quality water coming out of the secondary clarifier. One more cool thing, these four secondary clarifiers you see behind me, later alligators, the footprint of the new MVR is half of what these will be. Now joining us is Carolina Garcia, representing Senator Ling Ling Cheng. Hello everyone, Carolina here on behalf of Senator Ling Ling Cheng to congratulate the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on this virtual groundbreaking. Celebrations have looked a little different this year, but I'm grateful to have the opportunity to join you to say hello and welcome the RP5 expansion project that will increase treatment system capacity. These plans provide cost savings and directly serve Senator Chang's constituency in the Chino Valley region. The importance of water recycling in growing communities is evident now more than ever. So again, I want to wish IEUA congratulations on this exciting project and present this certificate virtually on behalf of Senator Ling Ling Chang. Thank you again for the invitation to join you and I hope to see you all soon. I'd like to welcome Anthony Johnson representing Assembly Member Philip Chen. Hi, my name is Anthony Johnson and I'm a field representative for Assemblyman Philip Chen. We would like to congratulate the Inland Empire Utilities Agency on their groundbreaking and ribbon cutting of the Regional Plant 5 expansion project. The IEUA plays a vital role in um, providing new technology to help recycle water in our community. Congratulations and thank you once again. I'm happy to introduce Noelia Oriana, representing Assemblymember James Ramos. Hi everyone, my name is Noelia Oriana and I'm here today with the Office of Assemblymember James Ramos and today I'm so excited to present on his behalf and on behalf of the California State Assembly to the Inland Empire Utilities Agency for their great RP5 expansion project. We recognize this is a great project not only because it'll improve quality, it'll also improve quantity allowing the district and the surrounding areas to have more water supply at the local level. So we wanna thank you all for your efforts. We do recognize your hard work and today we celebrate you in this expansion project. So thank you. Join us for our final check-in with our enthusiastic engineer at the plant. All right, Jerry Burke, engineer at the plant. Now we're here at the Flooring Contact Basin. We started up front at the headwork showed you the core screen, showed you the location of the fine screen, the primaries are going to be reconditioned, two new ones added. We looked at the secondary clarifiers that are going away. We're going to put MBR here at the chlorine contact basin. This is where the clean water is going to come out of the MBR. As a result of the clean water coming out of the MBR, because the process is so much more improved, we're going to be able to produce more recycled water for irrigation, parks, and ball fields. 
Now joining us to break ground at the RP5 expansion site is IUA Board President Katie Parker, Board Secretary Treasurer Steve Eli, and Board Member Michael Camacho. Thank you all again for joining us virtually for this innovative, forward-thinking project. IEUA's Board of Directors have led the agency with a vision and innovation while being pioneers in water management and environmental stewardship, including water quality, water use efficiency, recycled water, and renewable energy in order to enhance and preserve the quality of life throughout the region. Their leadership has enabled us to move forward with this essential project. Thank you again to our partners and the IUA team. For more information on this project and status updates, please visit our website at ieua.org. Thank you and have a great day.